it's far and few between that I make topical videos, and that's primarily because it's not very often there's big important name related news in the world. Though there's often silly name related news that I enjoy sharing on Twitter, so don't forget to follow me there at NameExplainYT. Twitter plug aside, it seems this week we have been blessed with some rather big name related news, that being the reveal of what the news era in Japan will be called, being called the Reiwa era. This got a lot of people talking, and well, with me being eternally doomed to talk about names, it seems like a good time to cover this recent name based news here on the channel. So what exactly are these eras of Japan? Well a lot of nations break up their history into eras and periods. Here in the UK we have things like the Victorian era, Tudor period and so on. Though I'm not too sure if these periods were known as that at the time or have retroactively been given those names. We use these terms to cover time and history as a means to study them. Periods of history brought them certain events and attitudes, meaning when we want to study those times in history, using these names makes it easier to grasp it all. The eras of Japan however seem to be much more formalised, with the concept of formalising Japanese history being established by Emperor Kotoku in 645 AD. They are also known as Gengor slash Nengo. Since then there have been 239 era names, so we definitely won't be covering all these names. The eras of Japan are used for more than just looking back on their history. Many Japanese people still use these eras as their calendar system, though the western calendar has become more popular over time, with some using both calendar systems interchangeably. Many in the country define themselves by the era they were born and raised in. In the same way in the west we have terms like baby boomers and millennials. These era names are also used in other places in Japan too, being seen on official documents, newspapers and coins. New era names in Japan are introduced along with new emperors and this is why we are getting a new era right now. As at the time of writing this video, Japan's current emperor, Emperor Akito, is planning on abdicating his throne on the 1st of May 2019, ending his 30 year reign as emperor of Japan and the first emperor to abdicate in over 200 years of Japanese history. His eldest son, Naruhito, is the current heir apparent and is due to take the throne once his father abdicates. With the change of emperor comes a change of era names, as we have seen being covered in the news recently. The current Japanese era, which is just about to end, well at the time of writing this video, is called the Heisei era, which starts on the 8th of January 1989. A lot of these era names come from classic Chinese texts, and Heisei is no exception. The name Heisei means achieving peace, and comes from passages in two Chinese classics, the Records of Grand Historian and the Book of Documents. This name of achieving peace was chosen due to the turbulent history of the era that preceded it, the Showa era, which included war, financial crisis and the nation under occupation. However, as the Heisei era comes to an end, a new name has been decided on. What's interesting is that the new era names are usually only revealed upon the death of the current emperor, but due to Akito abdicating rather than dying, this means that this tradition has gone out the window, with the name being revealed before he is even abdicated. Of course, this new era name is the Reiwa era, and it breaks tradition in more ways than just being revealed before the current emperor is out. As I said, most era names are from Chinese texts, however, this name of the Reiwa is from the Manyoshu, a compilation of Japanese poetry, not from China. The name was chosen secretly by a panel of experts ranging from Japanese novelists, professors and business figures, with the name being officially revealed to the press and the public on April 1st 2019. The first character of the name means good slash beautiful, with the second character meaning peace slash harmony, so the name can be translated into English meaning things like good peace or beautiful harmony. Current Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said that the name was chosen to reflect the start of an era filled with hope, and that the poach compilation in which the name comes from expresses our nation's rich culture, which we should take pride in along with our nation's beautiful nature. However, despite being just days old at the time of writing, the name has already faced issues. Other names were considered too before Reiwa was chosen, Iko meaning vast glory, Banwa meaning perfect harmony, Banho meaning great security, and Koshi meaning great arrival were all in contention but ultimately rejected. Others in the Japanese public have concerns over the first character of Reiwa, which can also mean command and order. It's understandable to see why the public might be hesitant to be living in an era that's name means to be commanded or ordered. However, the Japanese government have assured the public that while the kanji character can be read to mean that, in its source material the character means peace slash harmony, and have stated that nobody in the government thinks like that. Yet perhaps most interestingly is the effect that this era name has had in the most unlikely of places, in the world of Australian property. The Real Estate Institute of Western Australia have stated that since the announcement of this new era name, they have had a vast number of visitors coming to their website. Why is this? Well, if you look at the first letters of each part of their name, you will understand why this is the case. Hence why so many people have been visiting their website, reywa.com.
Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.